Hello welcome to my channel. Today topic is hacking. Are hackers only after computers? Think again. Hackers today target everything, even your phone. You will discover how to prevent your devices from being compromised after watching this video, which covers White Hat Black Hat and Gray Hat Hackers and their methods such as DDoS SQL Injection Phishing Keylogging Phone Hacking Spyware and SIM Swaps before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the subscribe button to keep informed on cyber threats. Let's start with the good guys, white hat hackers. These ethical hackers test security systems to find and fix vulnerabilities. They work with companies to protect against cyber threats. Tasks they perform include Penetration testing Simulating attacks to find vulnerabilities before real hackers do. Vulnerability assessment. Scanning systems for weaknesses that need fixing. Security audits. Reviewing infrastructure to ensure it's safe and compliant. Ethical hacking. Hacking systems legally to expose flaws and improve security. Network defense. Setting up tools and policies to block real attacks. On the dark side, we have black hat hackers, the criminals. They break into systems to steal data, commit fraud, or spread malware. Their actions are illegal and dangerous. Common attacks include Data theft Stealing personal or business information for misuse Malware creation Designing harmful software to damage or spy on systems Ransomware attacks Locking users out of their files and demanding money. Unauthorized access. Entering systems without permission to exploit them. System exploitation. Taking advantage of software bugs to gain control. Then there are gray hat hackers, they explore vulnerabilities without permission, but not necessarily for harm. Their methods are controversial and can still land them in legal trouble. Common task they perform Unauthorized scanning Scanning systems or networks for vulnerabilities without permission Bug hunting without permission Finding bugs or flaws in systems they weren't hired to test Reporting vulnerabilities Alerting companies after discovering security holes, often after exploiting them Mixed intent exploits Hacking with a combination of good intentions and questionable methods. Illegal testing, non-malicious. Performing security tests on websites and apps without authorization, but not for harm. Phishing schemes appear in emails or websites that appear authentic but are fraudulent. They are made to fool you into entering bank account information or passwords without realizing they are fraudulent. Keyloggers secretly record everything you type, passwords, messages, even your personal notes. They're often installed through infected files or malicious apps. SQL injection targets weak input fields, like login boxes. Hackers inject code to access, steal, or even delete entire databases from websites. A DDoS attack sends massive traffic to a server, overwhelming it. Imagine thousands of bots flooding a website at once. That's a DDoS attack. This makes websites crash or become completely unusable for real users. Instead of hacking machines, social engineering hacks people. Attackers pretend to be trusted individuals to get passwords, access to systems or clicking dangerous links. Some apps pretend to be harmless but secretly record calls, messages, even camera activity. That's mobile spyware at work. A hacker tricks your mobile provider into giving them control of your phone number. They can then reset your passwords and break into your bank or email. 
Fake messages designed to trick you into clicking dangerous links. Clicking these links can install malware or steal login details through fake websites. Using insecure public Wi-Fi networks to intercept your data. Hackers on the same network can perform man-in-the-middle attacks and monitor your browsing, messages, or login data. If Bluetooth is left on and discoverable, attackers nearby can try to pair with your device and extract information. To protect yourself online, start with strong, unique passwords for every account, avoid reusing the same one. Use two-factor authentication, 2FA, so even if someone steals your password, they still can't get in. Keep your software and apps updated, updates fix security holes that hackers often exploit. And finally, stay alert, don't click unknown links, install apps from unofficial sources, or use public Wi-Fi for sensitive tasks like banking. If you found this helpful, give it a like and share it. Don't forget to subscribe for more quick and useful tech-related tips. Thanks for watching.